it very much affected everyone. I mean everyone, not only the actors, but the producers, the writer, everyone that was connected with Boys in the Van. Who do you have to f to get a drink around here? It was really uh, sort of an, a seminal text for me, if that's not a poor choice of words. Oh, I mean, it was like nothing you'd ever seen before. It just changed the whole face of, of gay in America. This play opened at a time when everything was still taboo. Happy birthday! But I thought that the play did serious damage. Some gay people protested Boys in the Band when it first came out. First time in American history that gay people picketed a Hollywood film. Call my agent. She said, don't get involved. It'll wreck your career. This tells you what the times were like. That all led to the being broke and being out and being pretty well washed up. I thought it was a disaster and so did Billy. It's one of the few films I've made that I can still watch. I love it. What is the boys in the band? Boys in the band, you know what it kind of reminds me? I don't know, cute boys in a band? I don't know, maybe the Jonas Brothers? We were like, what's a bad gay? Bad gay. <laughs> so I you needed someone to start the ball rolling. The Boys in the Band was the first art that presented gay people as people. It was a blockbuster. Everybody felt that they had to go see it. Major celebrities there every night. There's a man, you can fulfill his fantasy, and it's $100. Their careers were cut short, tragically. It sent me into a sort of a tailspin. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Mark Crow. This play was shocking. It was subversive, heartbreaking. Retrograde. It's a very emotional and moving experience. When the play was about to open, I said, <laughs> do you think that they'll think it's funny? And he said, they've been laughing at fags since Aristophanes. They're not going to stop tonight.